hi you're welcome to my youtube channel today i'll be showing you how you can fix your beams when you design them and some of them fail okay so this video will help you on how you can go about that before we do that first of all i want you to come to uh, the active window settings and visual interrogation so you come here and then you go to um design tab here then you click on design status all right then you click on ok so this will help us to you know to visualize whichever beam did not pass okay so when you look at the legend here you see red means fill yellow means warning and then the orange means expired analysis so you see everything here in orange that's because i've done the analysis before i've cancelled it so the analysis has expired unless i have to run another one all right okay so let's get into it so you come to analysis and then you go to building analysis okay so under your loading combination make sure you load all the combinations you need i will create unfactored for this and then i will take away this and then click on ok so i have these loading combinations i'll click on ok for that and then i'm not considering any wind load here so i'll just click on edit material i'm more concerned about the the beams and the link so for the beam I have 16, 20, and 25 selected. Okay, so I click on OK, and then for the links because I also need links for the okay, so I need um, 8, 10, and 12 for the links. Okay, that's the maximum. 12 is the maximum. I can, you know, usually you don't even need more than 10, but let me just choose 12 as well. So I click on OK, and then come to analysis. So I'll run the building analysis, check the box, and then click on the beam design so that I can do the patch design for the beam then start okay now the analysis and design has been completed so you click on ok let's just click on close then we you know visualize to see the beams that pass and the one that fail so we only have um, just little of them. Look, if you see this, this particular one failed, and then even this, this particular one failed. Apart from those, almost everything passed. You know, we are not so concerned about the um, the column. I did not even design the column. So all this column you are seeing in red, um, it is not really my concern. Then we have one at the top here telling us that. There is a warning if you look at this you see this is um yellow color and then yellow tells us that that is a warning right okay so let's just fix the one that failed so you come to concrete design then you go to um beam reinforcement design go to story beams okay so we have this we have this 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 okay they look little but they are not so little as that okay so let's see what's wrong with this one click on it then you go to interactive design okay so i'll just take um a little bit of time to explain what we have here for you you know this portion you have here this simply represents your beam if you look at this place you have a support that's telling that you have a column support here obviously you can see you have a column support column and beam connection also here you have a column and beam connection also here you have um a support here but you don't have a coulomb going up from this point but here you have a coulomb going up from this point all right then here you have a cantilever mm -hmm. a cantilever of 784 mm okay and then the dam um then the section is 230 by 450 so all this is just the representation of your beam and in here what you have here is just your area of steel so when you look at this everything is in black color if you have anything in red color that is um a situation you have to fix all right so this particular bar that you are seeing 2y16 this is a span reinforcement bar you understand it is a span reinforcement here span reinforcement for the top all right then this is a support reinforcement for the top as well this is span reinforcement for the top but you know you have three span of beam here you have this is span one this is span two and this is span three okay so for this span this is the reinforcement 2y16 at the top all right then in between this beam and this beam the support reinforcement is what 3y25 okay then for this pan the top reinforcement is 2y16 okay then for the top for the support which also be the cantilever is 3y25 all right then you have um 
then you have another three y20 at the bottom which you will you know you will put what's it called a spacer in between and then you add it together right then these are the bottom reinforcements so we have nothing wrong with this actually so just click on ok then it will pass you can see it has passed okay okay so here click on interactive design yes okay so for this you just need to click on ok as well almost the same as that you don't have anything in red there too so click on this interactive design yes okay for this just click on ok as well then here interactive design yes okay we don't have much here click on okay and here interactive design all right you see um when you look at this beam when you look at this beam the problem we have here is basically the link when you see the link here you see this is y8 one leg y8 of 300 mm spacing this is also the same thing this is also the same thing but when you look at this this is y8 is zero mm spacing you don't have any spacing so from here up to here you have a greater shear force okay because when you look at the um the bar here sorry when you look at the beam you have here you see it is um a cantilever a cantilever beam you can see the cantilever beam of 670 mm all right no 670 plus 230 that's um 900 mm okay that's a cantilever of 900 mm span so here you don't even have any single spacing for your for your link that tells you that you have a very high shear force around that point so the y8 cannot take the um the what's it called the y8 there, there will be no spacing for it it cannot even go for about 10 mm spacing 20 mm spacing so what you can only do here is you have to increase the depth of this beam so when you increase the depth of this beam you will increase the load carrying capacity of that beam so thereby you'll be reducing the shear force of the beam understand so you can just come to beam and then the thickness you know there we have two spans let me cancel i'm oh, sorry you see we have two spans all right for this span you have um 230 230 by 450 and then for this span too you have um 230 by 450 okay so what we can do is you come to beam then the thickness i'll change it from 450 to 600 you can also do the same thing for this 600 okay then you go back to steel bars and then just click on okay all right so you can see that the utilization ratio has um has has changed so you can also do the same thing just click on it again okay so you change this one to white 10 just like this white 10 white 10 and then you can leave this as white so just click on okay so that should pass now and then okay you still have one more here click on interactive design um you have one y8 we can change it to so we are going to do the same thing for this as well you understand you come here change the thickness to um 600 change this to 600 as well okay so click on okay so go to interactive design again um no we should be able to change it to y10 now all right so now it has changed to y10 all right so you can see we are you can just click on ok and now it has um it has passed so we don't have any beam that is filling anymore so when you okay i think yeah this is one okay so interactive design let's see what's wrong here okay look at this this particular one has a problem of deflection check you see there's no problem wrong with the um, reinforcement no problem with the link but we have a problem with the deflection check so whenever you have a problem with the deflection check what you just need to do is what increase the thickness so you come to beam 
and then the thickness is 300 right so let's change this to 450 450 should be good enough then click on ok okay so it has passed as well so every utilization ratio here you can see it is less than 100 percent which is one okay so you have no beams filling anymore okay so that is how you go about it um let me show you um something i've not you've we've not seen a problem of the main bus filling okay okay so i'm trying to show you you know a problem here you know we don't have any problem with the main bar but let's assume there is a problem let's assume we are at the support reinforcement here at the top i mean around here at the top here i have a problem this is 3y25 let me change it to 2y25 2y25 you can see that at the top here i have a red color okay so let me assume that this button where i have 1404 let me change this you know this is 3y25 let me change it to 2y25 as well you can see for the span reinforcement i have something less okay okay so now when you look at this you see that we have a problem one at the span here span at the bottom i have a negative value also here at the support at the top i have a negative value so this is the let me try to explain to you you see this is a span i think i've explained that earlier so you see that here at the support here you need to increase the thickness because you are seeing minus something so it is not enough you need to increase the number sorry you need to increase the number of the reinforcements you have there um so here i have 2y25 right let me increase to 3y25 that has passed but if you increase to 3 let's say 3y20 with 3y20 pass 3y20 will not pass as well you can see you still have a, a negative value there so let's just leave it in 3y25 so that is good enough what about here 2y25 let me increase it to 3y25 okay so you see that what you even have left is 2.64 so you can't change this to 3y22 you can see so it has to be 2y25 okay so that's how you go about it this 3y20 should pass for this okay it will not pass okay so that is good enough so let's just click on okay so that is how you go about fixing your beams when they fail okay so let's see the interactive design now you can see so you have everything in green color everything in green color all right so this is how you fix your beam so majorly you can have three problems one you can have problem with your longitudinal bars your main reinforcement that is what we did last you know you just have to increase maybe the top or the supports you know increase the thickness um increase the number of or you just you know work with that another kind of problem you can have is a problem wrong with the link so at times when you have some problem wrong with the link you just need to in, you just need to reduce the the spacing and at times you may not even need to in, increase the spacing but what you just need to increase the depth of your of your of your beam and the third one is the deflection check when the limiting span depth ratio is not enough you have to increase the depth as well so that is how you fix the problem of beam thanks for watching